Employees at Penguin Random House Canada aggressively pushed back against management after it was announced that they will be publishing <laughs> one of Jordan Peterson's books, right? So his book, his self help book, was published a few years ago. He's now releasing his second self help book, which is a little ironic because he just underwent a pretty tough time with a benzo addiction. I'm not saying that to insult him, it's just strange to. On one hand, hear from his daughter and how she said that he needed to be in like a medically induced coma because of this addiction. And now all of a sudden he comes out of you know, treatment or whatever he was doing to release a self help book. I think that's strange. I, you know, let's give it, let's give it some time, Jordan Peterson. Let's give it some time <laughs> and, then, and then maybe write a self help book. But, but nonetheless, the new book is Beyond Order More Rules for Life. And so the employees you know, at this publishing house were upset because they felt that it's just wrong. It's absolutely wrong to publish him because of some of the views he holds. So four Penguin Random House Canada employees who did not want to be named due to concerns over their employment said the company held a town hall about the book Monday during which executives defended the decision to publish Peterson while employees cited their concerns about platforming someone who is popular in far right circles. Here's a quote. He's an icon of hate speech and transphobia and the fact that he's an icon of white supremacy regardless of the content of his book. I'm not proud to work for a company that publishes him, said a junior employee who is a member of the LGBTQ community and who attended this town hall that they had so people can kind of air their grievances and share what they thought about what's going on. One other employee told Vice, people were crying in the meeting about how Jordan Peterson has affected their lives. A third employee told Vice World News, the company's diversity and inclusion committee received at least 70 anonymous messages about Peterson's book and only a couple are in favor of the decision to publish it. Um, I know I don't work there, uh, but I'm also in favor of the decision to publish it. Not because I like Jordan Peterson, not because I agree with Jordan Peterson, but because this couldn't be better publicity for Jordan Peterson's new book. No one cares about his new book. Jordan Peterson was pretty popular, I think, a little while back, but he lost popularity because you know what's better than trying to censor and ban him, thus making him a victim? Debunking him, mocking the nonsense that comes out of his mouth in some of these interviews, debating him. He's engaged in so many debates where he's gotten his ass handed to him and he's lost support as a result of that. I don't agree with banning books, I just don't. I think that's a really bad idea. And who gets to be the arbiter of what is and is not offensive? Because I'll tell you this, we've had conversations and debates on this show, which make this show what it is. Where people have said like, no, no, that perspective should not be represented. Well, that's kind of your opinion, man, as Cenk will say when quoting the big Lebowski. We're supposed to engage in robust debate. We're supposed to engage in an actual exchange of ideas. And we shouldn't be afraid to debate people we disagree with. Banning people from being able to publish books, I think is the wrong way to go. And it's going to affect everyone regardless of their ideology. I don't agree with this. I think that the employees need to understand that the world is filled with people who have offensive ideologies, offensive opinions. There are people who are gonna be just flat out jerks to you. That's what real life is. And I think it's better to navigate it head on rather than immediately like cancel, call out, ban people that you simply disagree with. I get it. He said some stuff that is just disgusting. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we should be the arbiters of what book should be allowed, what publisher, uh, or I should say, uh, what topic should be written about. I think it's important to have the freedom <laughs> to publish different ideas, and I just think this is a bad way to go. Uh, I, I disagree with you in a lot of different ways. Um, not as I don't necessarily disagree with them publishing the book. If a private mm -hmm. company wants to publish a book, they can. They're certainly under no obligation, and if they choose not to, um, I, I would I would be more careful with their use of language. It's not banning and it's not censoring. It has nothing to do with the government. It has nothing to do with the First Amendment. A private company deciding not to publish something is not censoring it because they are under no obligation to provide another person with their services. They can choose to if they want to. 
you know, but they're not required to. And you know, uh, an employee saying that they don't want to be affiliated with it, I don't think is trying to ban it or censor it either. Like, no, he, they he don't want. It. They don't want the book published. Yeah, they don't want to be involved yeah, in they it. They don't get to make that decision though. They, they just get, don't. They get, to, they get to advocate for what they want. A junior employee at this publishing house doesn't get to tell. Uh, this publishing house, what they can and can't publish. Well, you're Just objectively like an true here because at CYT it's getting published. Doesn't get to tell me what I'm allowed to discuss on this show. This is supposed to be a free and open place to discuss all sorts of stories, all sorts of ideas. We might have disagreements, but what makes the show valuable, what makes books valuable, is that it represents different ideas, right? And you might get offended by that. But what are, you, what are those employees gonna do? How are they gonna live their lives? They're gonna run around like trying to shut down any opinion they disagree I with? I think they're expressing their opinions. They I think should, us saying they, they, should. they shouldn't express their opinions could did. arguably be described they the did. way you just described theirs. But I think it's wrong to basically say, no, you shouldn't publish this person because I don't like their ideas. I think there are a million different people that they could choose to publish if they wanted to. They make decisions about who they want to publish. People like Jordan Peterson have published multiple books and he will find a venue for his books to be published. Plenty of people never get the opportunity to publish a book. Are they being effectively censored because Penguin or some other company doesn't come and say, hey, what's your perspective? I just, I think you get to advocate for what you want in the same way that, by the way, we do, we do have disagreements on the show. We're literally in the middle of one right now. But um, if Jenk was like, oh, by the way, we, we want to have more difference of opinion, so we're going to give Alex Jones an hour weekly show, we would advocate for him to not do that. Yeah, but there's a difference because we don't want to be affiliated Jones with it. And, you know, sure, like Jordan I, I'm Peterson. sure that there is. Alex I honestly Jones don't know much like about Jordan Peterson. Alex crazy things that it literally incites violence, right? That, You're that's talking fair. about that's inciting fair. violence, that's different. Jordan Peterson is just wrong, right? And he holds these beliefs. Like the fact that Jordan Peterson is so easily triggered by just simply respecting people. And referring to them by their preferred pronoun. We should mock him for that, right? We should engage in debate and, and, and basically make it abundantly clear how pathetic he is as a person, that that is the issue that he's decided to latch onto. Sure, yeah, right? I agree. So, but I, I don't, because here's the thing I, people hate slippery slope arguments. I don't care. This is a slippery slope. Because if you have people who simply want to ban publishing certain books because it offends them, how far is it going to go? Because I know right after the 2016 election, when the student body of a university at Colorado voted overwhelmingly to have me speak on their campus for their diversity week, the school board, which was full of, full of Trump supporters, looked at a video of, of me on election night where I was clearly upset, right? And they basically said, well, since she said these comments about Donald Trump and we're Trump supporters, we're gonna go ahead and veto what the student body overwhelmingly voted in favor of. I think that's wrong. And not just wrong because it only affects me in that case. I think it's wrong when it happens in any context because you don't want these small groups of people in positions of power to be the arbiters of what is or is not allowed in our debates and our discourse. Yeah, I, but at the end of the day, they down. are arbiters. Penguin isn't offering me a book. They're well, not offering yeah. you a book. They well, make decisions with their limited resources of where to put that. I get that. that. What, what Penguin did here is they looked at how much money was made through Jordan Peterson's first book and they made a business decision. Like understand- Which again, they can do. Right. They can publish the book. But if you're an employee and you have an issue with it, I also am in more favor of employees having more control and input into how corporations function. So having a town hall where they express themselves, I support it when it's Facebook employees grilling Mark Zuckerberg, I support it in this case. It doesn't mean they get to decide, it doesn't mean that everything is immediately democracy because we in terms of how we set up our economy, we don't have that sort of workplace democracy. But I'm not, I'm not against them expressing it and I don't think it's the same as banning or censorship. This isn't the government. This is a private I know, corporation. But I think I think that argument, I'm just gonna be honest with you, John, and it's nothing against you specifically, because I've heard this argument uttered by so many different people and they're not understand Yes, it, you're not constitutionally, you know, this is not a constitutional issue, right? Private companies can make these decisions for themselves. But I do think that it's it's problematic when you have like politically driven efforts, even within a private company, to ban certain thoughts, certain ideas from being published. And while you might think it's okay when it deals with someone that you disagree with, you're not gonna like it when they refuse to publish someone on the left. Well, they are refusing to publish someone on the left, me.
They're not publishing me. Okay, where's your right book now. proposal, John? Did you go to Penguin with a book proposal? <laughs> Should I? Do it, yeah. Okay, and, maybe if, I will. and if there is like some sort of uprising within the publisher and they say, no, we're, we're not going to do it because we don't want to be associated with leftists, I'll come back on the show and I'll say the exact same things that, that I said in regard to Jordan to Peterson. To make myself look like a victim. No, what I'm yeah. saying is that I just um, I don't all, like I don't like the culture, and they don't even realize they're doing it, right? But this culture of like not allowing people, like I have to. Think about everything I say, because even with the best intentions, if I say something a little wrong and I offend someone, then you're having discussions about like, oh no, you can't have that kind of debate on the show. Because that kind of debate makes people offended. Mm -hmm. Well, then welcome to the real world. People get offended. People say offensive things. People disagree with one another. But you gotta have but an opportunity to talk those things out. Like you're, you are saying we should but debate no, people, John, well, the, but you're saying the they should be silent. If the employees simply said, you know, we really disagree with this decision, let's talk it out. We wish you guys hadn't have done this. It's one thing, but here they're like, you shouldn't have published the book. Well, I wasn't at the town hall. I don't know what the bulk of the things they were saying is. People were crying in the meeting about how Jordan Peterson has affected their lives. But again, uh, yeah, sure, sure, and, and maybe your maybe your the way that you describe it is true. I don't know. I wasn't there. Again, I don't really know anything about Jordan Peterson even. Like, I really don't care about he's him. He's an asshole. Like, there's no question about it, right? Mm -hmm. And he's. Really fun to make fun of. Um, Michael Brooks did the best job in mimicking him and you know making fun mm. of him. But that's how you win by really revealing how pathetic he is. But what and you do what here do. is you turn him into a victim, and he, he shouldn't be in a position of victimhood, right? But that's sure. what he's going to do. He's going to like this kind of publicity is almost so good that I feel like I feel like the PR department at Penguin Random House like. Orchestrated this. Like it's just completely manufactured. Maybe. Like maybe. that's how good the marketing is. I just want people to understand crying about opinions you disagree with will get you nowhere. But being willing to tackle those ideas and debunk them head on is more effective. Don't make Jordan Peterson a victim because that's exactly what he's going to do. That's what. No, he's going to do it anyway. That's what Dave, Dave Rubin's Dave entire Rubin career is going to pretend is that they on. were burning his book, no matter even, even if nobody cared. He's going to pretend. So I, I get your point, and it doesn't mean that you're wrong. I, I, but they're going to say that they're a victim, no matter what. Yeah, that, that's the whole grift. But this is this is actual substance material that they can like use to to make their point, and they're right in this case. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.